This is one of my favorite airplanes in the museum. This is the Waco CG4 glider. Over 14,000 of these were built throughout the Midwest and primarily in Michigan during World War II. Its, its main task was to carry troops into battle. We didn't have helicopters during World War II. We had to get troops into battle somehow, and you can't get them all in battle by with ships. So you can bring them in on the CG-4 glider. This glider would hold 13 infantrymen fully equipped with their guns, their helmets, everything they needed, and also a pilot and a co-pilot. Now, if you can imagine, 500 of these were being used on D-Day. They were being towed into battle using a CG, was using a C-47 Skytrain cargo plane. And they would use this tow rope to pull them. So if you can imagine 500 of these cargo planes and CG-4 gliders lined up on the, on the runways in England on D-Day, taking off in the morning, flying over the English Channel. When they got to France, the, the glider pilot would release the tow rope and the glider would silently fall in and land in Normandy. When, the, when it landed, the troops would come out and we'd have 15 men all together ready to fight. So this was one way we could get the troops behind enemy lines and behind the cliffs of Normandy to begin their fights. The CG-4 also carried not, not just infantrymen, but it could carry equipment. The front of this glider would tip open, lift up, and you could put a Jeep in it. You could roll a Jeep in it and a, and a caisson, which is a trailer full of ammunition. You could also carry a 75 millimeter howitzer cannon in the battle. So we brought lots of equipment, Jeeps and guns and infantrymen into Normandy using the CG-4 glider. There were 14,000 of these gliders built around the Midwest, primarily in Michigan. They were, they were built in St. Louis, Missouri. They were built in Dayton, Ohio, in uh, Greenville, Michigan, and in Ironwood, Michigan. And uh, so, but the parts for the, the glider came from many different sources around Michigan. The uh, skids are mainly for landing. It had wheels for takeoff, but on landings, these gliders would be landing in fields in, around France. So they had to have skids. And these skids were made here in Kalamazoo at the Gibson Guitar Factory. Then the framework of the glider is, is of small diameter thin metal, thin metal tubing. And it was made in many places in Michigan. But interestingly enough, a lot of it was made just south of here in Sturgis, Michigan at the Kirsch Curtain Rod Factory. Also, many parts were made at the Shakespeare Company here at Kalamazoo. So, during World War II, we used a lot of our existing industries to manufacture items for weapons of war to win World War II. The majority were built in Michigan, some of them in Greenville, Michigan. In Greenville, they, they converted the Gibson refrigeration plant into building gliders for the Army Air Corps. And the community was very proud of that fact and they wanted to contribute even more to the, to the war effort. So the school children of Greenville went out and collected nickels and dimes and quarters so that they could buy war bonds for to buy a glider. They collected $78,000. That was enough money to buy war bonds to purchase four gliders. The Army Air Corps was very proud of that. They were very happy. They contacted the Greenville community and said, thank you for your effort. Thank you for your donations. And to honor that effort, we're going to name four of the first four gliders in on D-Day, the Fighting Falcons of the Greenville Schools. The Fighting Falcons is the high school mascot of the Greenville Schools.